Hey guys, you got Nick with Nick's Yard Care. Um, right now you got you see my X Mark Turf Tracer 36 in the air. Right now I've got to drop the blades, sharpen them, <clears throat> clean out from under the deck, get the blades back on, and hit the vital parts with uh, some grease. This is something that you've got to keep on, guys. If you don't have sharp blades, your cut's not going to be perfect. It is not going to be nice and smooth. And you're not going to be able to go at a quicker rate like commercial people do. I cut easily at four and a half, five miles an hour. Out of the six and a half, this more will go all day long if the yard is smooth enough to handle it. But that's because I keep my blades sharp. All right, guys, let's drop these blades and then I'll show you how I sharpen. I don't have a regular bench grinder, but I make do. Uh, where I ran, I can't have nothing like that. But I will, uh, when I get my own place, it'll happen. But, uh, Let's drop these blades, guys, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like here. <clears throat> and for anybody who wants to know, the newer style runs a three-quarter inch. Is what it takes to get them off. I uh, know I'm not doing it in an optimal area either, guys. We've had a lot of rain today. It snuck up on everybody. So I'm fighting the elements. I don't feel like being in mud. Ugh. That one dropped a lot faster than I was anticipating. Mm. And then if you do look, the new ones have a tooth geared spacer that gets bolted in. I should have honestly cleaned the deck out the, earlier this weekend. But you know how it is when you want to spend time with the family. <clears throat> Something went down here. I've hit something, guys, and I didn't know what it is. I've got some teeth out on my... Some chunks missing. Don't like that, but let me show you. See how that should be smooth through there. So I've gotten into something. All right, let me take you in here. Let me get my grinder out, and you can watch me grind really fast. It's going to be one longish video today, guys. Now, I do use an angle grinder.
All right, guys, uh, let me show you the blades here. Got them down pretty good. I don't know what we got into, but it might have been a little... You can see... Both blades have a little nick in both of them. I don't know what happened and what I hit. I don't remember hitting anything. But... Blades never lie. All right, guys, all right. Now comes the fun part. We got to get this old grass out from underneath it. Got a little mold in it right now due to it been setting all weekend. But, let's get down here and bring you along. Why not? pretty under a deck but that's you ain't never looked under one that's kind of what it looks like you gotta get this old moldy stuff out and you got grass underneath your deck you're keeping your airflow down which keeps you from throwing grass as far cutting it as efficiently My allergies will go crazy tonight. <clears throat> and those of you wanting to uh, follow my channel, uh, my tiny home homestead channel, uh, I'll put the link in the description and we will be signing on the property tomorrow and we'll own it outright yeah, it's not a big piece of land guys but it's all it'll be ours so thanks for any of the support y'all have given on that so far and uh it'll definitely help in the future because where i live right now i can't do a lot of stuff that i want to do to show y'all and all that i just have to you know when you rent you kind of have to go by other people's rules so once we get this little cabin out there is going to be a lot of stuff we're going to be doing for this channel here out there right and mowing won't be one of them because there ain't gonna be no grass in the middle of the woods but yeah we will be in the middle of the woods you will see us use a uh, trimmer and we'll be doing a lot of tree cutting uh, so we can get in there and get a driveway cut and a place to have a house I had to have a chirp pad brought, you know, put in. So there'll be quite a bit of clearing going on for getting dump trucks. And the, we are actually going to get a portable cabin. A true cabin is what we're looking at right now. Might end up being a portable shed. But we're going to take it and uh, get this thing turned into something and take y'all along on that journey because I'd like to have it documented for ourselves. You know, this is something we've never done before. And. We want to be house payment free the time I'm 50 and I'm 45 now. So, oh, 43 now, and I'd like to have it done before I'm 50. So, once I get it put together and built, the shell, you know, everything will be bought in cash and the shell will be paid for. And we're going to take it out on 60 months, but it'll be paid for well before then, you know. Just got to get it more we can pay the better and the only thing I do not like about these spindles guys is you cannot lube them I was brought up with the company that you lubed everything uh, you can't lube these and when you do a blade guys and you put it on if it has fins make sure they go in the air flat side down and this has to go exactly 90 degrees difference. Don't be like me. I've started one of these with a uh, gun before and it was a bad day in paradise. Stripped it out. You don't want to do that. It is not fun. All right, guys. Let's I'm gonna hit this gun real quick. We're going to lock her in. 
Alright guys, and then what we're going to do is drop her down and finish cleaning it off and throw some lube on this thing. As y'all can see, she definitely got more grass we got to get off of her. But you don't want to carry this grass around with you much. Yeah, I got to take a shovel here in a minute and come clean all this up. Take it over in the fence row behind my place. Well, down the side of it. Most people don't like to do the maintenance on their mowers, but then they wonder why they stay broke down. Yeah. And anybody will tell you it's been in it long enough. If you don't take care of your mowers, that's what's making you the money. Unless you do landscaping and essentially whatever is making you the money in that. Your excavator, uh, bobcat, uh, backhoe, whatever you got. Hired wheelbarrow, you're going to take care of it. If you don't, you won't be in business long. And all this has got rain on it from earlier. See, we had a doozy a while ago. We were out near the property looking at it again. And before we buy it, we wanted to look at it one more time, even though it's on a dirt road that leads nowhere. And I promise you, it was a soft road. When you got in some areas. All right, guys, let's get the grease gun out here. And we'll shoot a little bit of grease in these joints. And there's one on here that you definitely got to do. And that deals with your deck. All right, guys, this one's a very important one. Had to get back here. It's wee hidden. Only took one pump on that one. That was actually very good for that one. But you definitely anything that you makes you money, you always want to take care of it. Keep the maintenance up really good, like your truck. You got to keep that maintenance up on it or it's going to let you down when you need it the most. And it's like I feel I'm getting low on my fluid, my lube here. At least I'll get enough in them to get me through to get, buy me another round of it. Getting into something there. But you'll realize, you know, you know, you spend a lot of money, you're not going down to you're not using a three thousand dollar more from Home Depot or Lowe's, you're spending eight, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars, fourteen thousand, depending on what you're running, for a mower. Damn lot of money. So you got to take care of them. Because if you don't, ain't nobody going to. And I know. I thought it was one there. Look at up. I swear it's one on this tire somewhere.
and do it the other way. Okay, I guess not. I was swore we had one there. Okay. Well, I got them all, guys. Uh, let's get her put back together and moved here. Just remember, these is what makes you your money. This time of year, that's why you're in business to mow yards. And you got to keep these things running in peak performance. And you can watch this electric start work, guys. Excuse me. This is the way I've got mine set up. Key on. Choke if you need it. This is the charge wire. It's off. I'm just going to move it just a hair. Look at that. For those of y'all who have never messed with one, that's how we do it. That's most sod I laid down. That set in the winter all stacked up. 50% growth rate on it. Can't beat it though. Should have been 0%. guys got that done now i just gotta do a little bit of clean up out here like i said tomorrow we'll close on the property so we're gonna get started later but that's what i got off the more that's more than i should have had in it but it's what happens when you cut wet grass you know when it rains it rains I'll show you that they got like eight of them growing we've got something partially growing so one two three four Five, six good ones, two partials, and three, six, seven, and eight doing a damn thing. But like I said, they were stacked up beside my shed here from a job I'd done. If I got that type of growth rate just thrown out here, just trying to add dirt, you see the water standing. All right, guys, uh, appreciate you uh, ladies and gentlemen watching us. Uh, please keep supporting us. Anything that's in the links, uh, click on it if you need it. And if you make a purchase, yes, we will make a small, uh, a small commission. Um, but that goes to help this channel. Uh, we're definitely not getting rich off of it by any means, uh, guys. So uh, I appreciate everything y'all do for us and keep supporting us. God bless, and y'all have a wonderful rest of the weekend.